Hello everyone, so in today's video I will show you how to install um, the System Center Virtual Machine Manager on um, Windows Server 2022. So um, I have already downloaded uh, the source, so we just need to, to run the setup. Um, and let's do it. Uh, we do need some uh, prerequisites, so it will need an uh, uh, an SQL. So if you have a separate SQL, then you can use that. I will install here directly the SQL, but I just want to show you um, the install steps and um, how you know what to how you know how, what uh, prerequisites you need to to prepare. So the installer will give you all the informations that you need so when you go with install it will do a system check and it will tell you what you are missing so we want to install the management server and it automatically installs the console we do not have any product key because we are installing the um, evaluation version. Just accept the license. Next and now it will. I don't want to get any updates for now. And I want to change. I want to change the default location. Because I don't have too much space. Let's create here a new, a new folder. You don't have to do this, but <clears throat> in my case, I don't have enough space on the on the C drive. Okay, so first thing that uh, it will show you it is that you need. Um, those tools and you can just go on this link and you you will find them so first uh, you need the adk and the and this one this is windows what i don't know the name exactly windows pre-installation environment features so those two items so softwares you already you need to install on your um before you can uh, <clears throat> we can continue as you can see there is no uh, option to continue just click cancel and we just install everything we need so first let's see this one this is the adk and I also want to, because it takes a lot of space, I want to install it on the other drive data. Let's create a new ABK. And it's not okay. Next. Yes. Allow me to no. Accept. And I leave everything to default <coughs> because this is. Uh, uh, everything I need I do not need anything else okay go install uh, this will take a little bit of time I will pause the video okay so it's done I will not launch anything I'll just close and now let's install the other one this is the pre-installation um, add-on, and it will <coughs> use the same, uh, the same as the as we installed the the first one, the ADK. I'll just go with next. No, I don't want any insights to Microsoft. Let's accept and let's install. This will also take a little bit of time. Okay, second one is also installed. I'm just going to close. 
and uh, <clears throat> I will not uh, install the SQL. I just want to show you that it will also check uh, if you have any SQL or if you have the SQL CLI installed so that it can communicate with an external SQL server. Again, the same steps. Yes, we agree. Next, next off, next browse, and we will go again with the same stuff. And now, <clears throat> uh, one additional warning is that <clears throat> it uh, requires at least 60, 60 gigabyte of RAM. Um, don't worry in your home lab lab it will work even if you have four gigabytes uh in my case that's that's how much i have I only for have four uh, and now here are the utilities that utilities that you uh you are missing and of course um you also need to do a restart uh we will not install the utilities we will install sql evaluation 2022 directly because um this is how i'm doing this uh, this install and now we will just install the evaluation i will go with basic we don't uh, need to have anything special okay mm let's also go here and say SQL okay install uh, this will also have a will take a little bit of time I will pause the video again and come back when it's finished okay <clears throat> I'm back we are done um, the installer also ask if you want to install the um, the management SQL management console but we don't need that we just want to go to close yep and uh, from what I remember we also need a restart let's do a restart because that that was one of the uh, things that we saw there so let's close here and just just do a restart The VM will come back in a few seconds because it's fast. Okay, so we can reconnect and now we can uh, finish the, the install. I do have space, okay. Uh, where is it? Here is the source. And let's run the installer one more time. It will give us <clears throat> again the warning with the insufficient RAM, but we can just go with next. We will ignore that. Okay. Again, the same steps. No product key, evaluation, yes. Next, off, next. And yeah. It doesn't say how much space it needs, but we hope we have sufficient. Insufficient, we don't care, we just go with next um here because um because we are we have the sql um, server on uh, on the same server uh you don't have to do anything because it sees the instance uh this is the database name that will it will be it will create <clears throat> and we don't have to <clears throat> to write any ports 
<clears throat> if the database was on a different server, then yeah, we, we should uh, replace the ports or write the port and uh, username and password to to be able to connect to that SQL. And we go here with next. Uh, so <clears throat> here is a, a, an interesting part. So um, we will use a service account uh, that will will only be useful for uh, the uh, SCVMM. So this account that I'm using here, I will not use to add um, hyper um, hyper V's in uh, in the console later on. So this is uh, this is an important thing to know. Uh, let's say. I have an account here. Okay, password. Okay, those are the firewall ports that uh, are used by by SCVM and the console, of course. We just go next, and we leave everything by default. This is the summary, and let's go with install. Uh, it shouldn't take too much. Maybe I can pause the video and... I don't remember how much time it took. Let's see. Okay, so it's done. Um, it didn't take too much. A minute or so. Um, let's say... Let's see what we have here. I don't want to check for any updates and I do not want to open the console right now. Let's just close, close. And I'm old school. I want to open it like this. Um, it's on, uh, so it, this is fine. This is the local host. And we are using the same credentials that uh, we logged into. Okay, um, let's say, let's see, we can also add um, a hypervisor and a hyper-v. So, trusted yet, it's in the domain, and we will use um, a different account. Or maybe, no, let's, let me show you. If I go with the same uh, account that I used a couple of minutes ago to uh, during the install process, you will see that we will get an error. Uh, how is my VM called? Hyper V, where is it? It's just Hyper V, okay. 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 Next, it finds uh, it finds it in the domain. Let's just wait a bit. Wait. Next. Don't touch anything here. I go next, and as you can see, we are trying to edit to add the, the hypervisor with the same uh, system account that we used to install the, uh, the SCVMM uh, uh, software of uh, server and now if we go with finish we should have an error and <clears throat> as you can see specify a different account um, and try um, and try again. So you cannot use the same account to add um, a hypervisor in a, to be managed. So you will go here and close this one, and we just try one more time. Same steps, but here we will use 
a different account. Um, this account needs to be an, uh, an admin on the hypervisor. So this is important. And on not only on the hypervisor software, but on the on the server itself. So you will need an admin because that uh, that will be used during the uh, so I okay search okay next again the same step. And this time we shouldn't have any issues. And during this process, it will also install the the agent. So this process will install an agent on the on the hypervisor. Um, app is ah, yeah, we got it. So. We were faster, and but we saw that uh, it is installing the agent. And if we go back, that ninety nine, it's completed with uh, some informations. Yeah, multipath. We don't have that that in our lab, but we also need to to reboot the host. Uh, let's see if we have the possibility to reboot it from here. Yeah, we have. So, oh wait, wait, wait. I don't want to restart it. I want to see if I have any VMs. No, they are all off. Okay, now we can go back and say yes to restart. And it will immediately restart the hypervisor. So that we can uh, actually use it. Let's just wait a couple of seconds. Uh, let's go back. So I'm back on the SCVMM. And we should see here some stuff. Maybe it needs a little bit of time. We should see the VMs on it. Normally. Okay. Do I have any filters here? No. Okay. This is the storage. This is the virtual switch. Everything is nice. But where are my VMs? I do have some VMs. Wait, maybe I have any some filters I don't remember. Yeah, it is strange. I should see here some. Uh, I should see the VMs from uh, from the hypervisor because I do have some VMs. Two VMs, for example. Why don't I see them? Ah, oh, wait, yeah. It did uh, need some time to, to read, to communicate with the hypervisor. So this was it. Uh, thank you for watching. And please subscribe to my channel if you like this type of video.